Hello folks, this is the iRobot channel and I'm going to talk to you today about how to remove the bumper sensors slash cliff sensors of a Roomba 500 series or the professional series. So basically, this is just in case you get a 9 beep error. Uh, basically uh, your bumper sensors are a fault error or your cliff sensors. So basically I'm going to show you how to take it apart, but first of all I'm going to show you to test it, how to test it, make sure uh, it is the bumper sensor that are at fault. Well, for to do that, you, know, you have to hold the dock and clean button at the same time while pressing the spot button six times. So hold dock and clean and press spot six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this guy just goes to a self-diagnostic test mode. Uh, right now all the LEDs are just blinking around, you know, making sure all the LEDs work. And to begin the test, we'll go test number one by pressing dock, which is uh, basically next. And spot is back. So we'll go next, uh, so go to test one. So we're going to test uh, one right now, which is going to be uh, determined if the uh, buttons work correctly here. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm going to press uh, clean. Clean, spot, minute, or I mean hour, minute, and then schedule and clock. And as you guys can see, the delight here turned uh, green. Might be hard to see. Before it was red. And each time I press these buttons here, you might see a uh, like dock lighting up. I don't know, I guess you can see that. So anyways, uh, yeah, if you push those buttons, so you'll see the lights lighting up. And obviously when this turns green, it means that test passed. So you go to the next test, test number two, by pressing dock once. So now you're in test number two, and this uh, basically is determined if your bumper sensors work correctly. So if you press the left side of the bumper, and you'll see that the spotlight right there blinks. That means that the bu that bumper sensor work works correctly. If you press dock right here, I mean, I mean the right side of the bumper, you'll see that the dock light is blinking. And as you can see, it's a green light right here instead of red. It means that the test has been passed, so the bumper sensors work correctly. You press again to next, and this uh, basically goes to the cliff sensors. So when you press dock, you know, once it goes to test number three, and that's just to determine the cliff sensors. And you just can place your hand on the sides of it. You just kind of swipe it, you know, you can see it turns green. We pass the test. And again, the inside sensors now, clip sensors. Right there, we just pass the test again. So anyways, that's just to determine if the uh, if your sensors are at fault or all. Uh, this Roomba works great. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to take it apart. So go ahead and exit the uh, test mode by holding the button. So right now it's off. So first you want to do is uh, take it apart, disassemble it, just remove the dustbin. So we just remove the dustbin. And also next thing is uh, removing the faceplate. So to remove the faceplate, you just gotta try to pry it up a little bit here on the sides. Go ahead, turn it off. Just gonna put your fingers inside and just lift it up. It should snap off, no problem. So we just remove that. Now you have to flip over and remove everything here, uh, including the brushes, I mean the uh, modules and the side brush. Uh, here we're gonna use a number two size Phillips head. So first we're gonna remove the uh, side brush right here. So we just remove side brush. Now we're gonna remove the uh, bottom plate also using a number two head Phillips head on the screwdriver tip so I remove the uh, bottom plate remove the battery now you want to swap your uh, Phillips head tip or you get a screwdriver uh, with a number one Phillips head all right that's just for removing the uh, all the modules here so with that number one size Phillips head here we're gonna unscrew the screws here. Now these screws on the modules do not come out all the way. As long as they're loose, you know, just keep spinning. It means they're unscrewed. 
because uh, they, they just stay in there. See, as you can see that on the modules, they just stay, the screws just stay there. So go ahead and remove the, I don't know, plane head module, the uh, wheels modules, you know, right, left and right, and the uh, side brush motor module. Go ahead and remove all those. I like to remove these parts because it, it puts less uh, stress on the motherboard when you're reinstalling the motherboard. And it makes it much easier to work with since the slider and the wheels don't end up churning on you every every time you want to move it around. Okay, so now that the modules have been removed, go ahead and uh, remove the bumper. Very simple. Uh, you could just uh, use the number one head, Phillips head, to unscrew all the screws here. Or if you're like me, you already know how to do this. You just try to pry the uh, bumper off from the literary inserts. I normally just grab right here. Let's just kind of get it off by moving it around a lot. I'm just trying to remove off this little pins here so you just you know pry it up a little bit because the plastic is flexible so I'm not gonna break it. Alright so we'll just remove the bumper. Go ahead and loosen this wire right here out. So it'll look like this. All right. So lay the Roomba down. And now you want to use your number one head uh, screwdriver to unscrew the small screw here, if you have it there. So it's a smaller screw in there. And switch your, or I guess screw, you know, screwdriver with number two size tip, and remove this bigger screws here from the cover. So there are 10 of these uh, bigger size screws. So after removing these uh, ten, uh, 10 big screws, go ahead, place them on the side somewhere. If you guys are not sure if you're gonna repair it the next day or the same day, might as well put the robot back together uh, because otherwise you'll forget where the screws go to. But if you're gonna do it in a couple of days, uh, just put them in a safe place where nobody can get to them, just so you don't lose them. So go ahead and remove the cover, put it on the side, remove the keypad covers, put those on the side, Go ahead and use your number two size Phillips head to re remove that keypad. There are four screws on this. So remove the four screws. Put that aside. The There's a thin piece of plastic here protecting the yeah, motherboard from any of the contaminants and then get to it. Uh, go ahead and disconnect the wires here. Let me zoom in here just real quick. So Remove the connectors. Alrighty. Now I have to switch back to the uh, number one size Phillips head to uh, unscrew the motherboard. There are five screws located on this motherboard that you want to remove. Now it's critical you guys do not uh, do this with the battery in. Again, make sure you pull the battery out either way, because otherwise it gets short. So anyway, so I just removed the five screws on this uh, motherboard, and we'll lift the motherboard up, lay it down flat, and you should see some connectors right here. You just gotta remove, disconnect those. You know, one's a big one here, a medium size, and there's three on this side, three connectors. So just remove those. Then go ahead and let your motherboard be with the bumper for now connected there. Just place it on the side somewhere. Out of the way. Alright. Now you got the IR array system here, which you want to just kind of get out of the way too. Just lift it up. It, should be, it shouldn't be screwed or anything, it's just all loose. It just slides in. So go ahead and remove that out of the way. 
Now using your uh, number one size field head tip, remove uh, the bumper sensors. They are held down by two screws. Alright, so just remove the two screws right here. Okay, so two screws per bumper sensor. So you want to remove those out and put them out of the way. So now you got two loose bumper sensors here. And uh, to remove the uh, clip sensors, uh, they're wired together. So the bumper sensors and the clip sensors are wired together. So to remove them, it's real simple. All you gotta do is, uh, I find it's much easier to do if you just kind of you know, slide this piece of metal out this way on both sides, which kind of loosens it up. And now it'll be easier to remove the inside bumper sensors. So using a knife or a uh, very small screwdriver, you know, small tip, you just place your uh, screwdriver tip right between the cliff sensor and the body and push it in a little bit and then push the uh, cliff sensor out that way. Yeah, same thing with all these uh, outside ones and the inside. They uh, come out really simple and really easy. And they go back in the same, I mean they're really easy, Just they're just snap in. All right. So now I just removed the bumper sensors and cliff sensors. All right. So to put it back in, if you guys want to continue watching, go ahead and continue watching. But to put it back together, same principle. Uh, the one that has a connector, the closest to connector bumper sensor, always goes on the left side. So then the shortest point, as you notice, this bumper sensor is further away. Let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see a little better.